field trip. Uh, sorry for the camera's microphone. Thank you. The, uh, when we did the field trip around through Clive, we're looking at the uh, rest race of the margins. I asked why we not uh, had we thought about using prison labour, and I was told that uh, we weren't able to access uh, prison labour or not be offered because we had to pay for it, and we had to pay for the the time, which I thought was quite an extraordinary thing. Uh, so I would like, if I could have a report on that. Uh, because I do think we, we have people who do uh, work for uh, for the community on, um, on PD and I would have thought that uh, people who have offended have offended our community and should be given the opportunity to make a contribution back to the community. There's a lot of good work around there to be done and I would have thought it would have suited all parties in a way. So if there's an issue that's arisen uh, about pay, well I'd like to have a report on it, consider it and see what I think could be done about it. Um, fruit fly infestation well, uh, <clears throat> fruit fly infestation is in the far north, of Whangarei. It's a long way from here, uh, but uh, anybody who's attached to the fruit industry on the Hirotonga Plains is deeply worried. Uh, yeah, sure, <laughs> MAF are doing all that they can, and that's good on them. Uh, but <clears throat> and let's hope that it's resolved and dealt with. But what I'd like to have is I'd like to have uh, from the chair <clears throat> an assurance or for something to happen to make sure that should the infestation of Whangarei uh, uh, be proven to be uh, more established than we would like, that all of the uh, services, all of the agencies, everything that needs to be done here in Hawke's Bay <clears throat> is worked on, the plans are drafted, the people have uh, you know, got into gear now, and I'm thinking here of the old uh, uh, six P's, prior preparation and planning prevents a poor performance. So the sooner we get onto it, the more we think about our plans, the more activities. The regional council <coughs> won't lead on this. I presume it will be MAF, but we will have a role. <coughs> and we should be asking what MAF are doing, what other agencies are doing, so that we are 100% up to speed, well in advance, should anything, happen, should anything occur. Do you, um, sorry, sorry yeah, Chair, can I okay. can yeah. press, yeah. press if I can talk briefly to that. Um, um, it, it's very pleasing to hear that other councillors are aware of the um, dangers of this issue to the to the Hiratonga Plains in particular, um, but to the fruit producing um, industries in this country more generally. Um, I'm aware that there is a workshop that's will take place shortly between the major fruit growing industries which is a planning workshop to deal with the um, the event of a uh, fruit fly incursion because it's quite simply the biggest threat to to our industry in terms of um, access to foreign markets um, and I imagine that some of the things that will come out of that workshop will be liaison with other groups such as the regional council and and MAF and so forth. So uh, I know that there are internal things happening within the food industry to um, to, to plan for such an event. Thank you. Um, Councillor Graham, Cityscape. Yes, Mr Chair. Um, I was just concerned in a, a Dominion article um, sometime, I think it might even be pre-Christmas, where I read this building, Cityscape, and I sent a, an email to our Chief Executive, which she answered, I have, thank you very much, said she would look at it. Um, I was particularly concerned really that um, um, the, it seemed that the Napier City Council CEO was negotiating on our behalf, according to the Dominion article, and that the contingent liability to us was in the extent of $500,000. Um, I just hadn't heard about it, and um, so I just would like to understand that issue a bit better. Um, both of those... Um matters that you've identified are, are, are incorrect. Um, so um, the negotiations um, have, have not yet started because Napier City Council's lawyer has been involved in the Board of Inquiry hearing and is now finally freed up to sort of um, look at other issues. But the intent is that um, Napier City Council, Regional Council and Cityscape sit down together without lawyers uh, to try and negotiate an agreement and the contingent liability is uh, well, well short of that, 
of that figure and I'm happy to discuss that with you um, at another time or bring the information to you once we once we have um, uh, firmed up on it I'm the yeah that's probably all I can say at the moment thank you I thought when I raised the issue of the fruit fly you were looking to uh, Mike Cady to have a comment on about what might or might not have been done well, did I misinterpret that uh, I was going like that to him to write down your request, oh, and then, um, okay. and and if it has has or hasn't been done, get on with it. <laughs> yeah, because I thought you you raised a good point. So we've finished that. Right now, item thirteen and fourteen. But we'll for this item, both these items, we need to move into public excluded. There's been some commentary around this but um, we need to move on so is someone happy to move us into public excluded Councillor Hewitt, Councillor Scott do you wish to speak anyone wish to speak <coughs> I'll put that motion in all those in favour please say aye. aye contrary no, carried so just so we're clear um,